Hi and welcome to Stamping with Linda, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today I want to show you two techniques um, that I used on my Easter card. The first one I want to show you the negative image from the embossing folder and also the dogwood flower uh, made with our punches. So let's get started. First off, I took the cardboard from our designer series paper, the thin cardboard. I took four different layers of it and cut one layer at a time with our labels framettes. This has a very thin knife to it, so you can only cut one layer at a time. I cut my cardboard uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. I cut the label out of the center, then lay it laid it on another piece of cardboard and drew a line around so that I made sure I got the cut at the same position on all layers. I glued them together and I used our Tomboy um, multi-purpose adhesive to glue my cardboard together and also I put some on the back of the stack so that it became like a post -it note. This is the same thickness as my clear cutting mat for the Big Shot. When we use the embossing folders, we need two clear cutting mats. This frame cardboard that I made is going to eliminate one of those cutting mats. I'm going to take the sticky part and I'm going to put it on the back of my embossing folder. I'm going to bring up my Big Shot. This is, again, the thickness of one cutting mat. I'm going to put my cardstock in the middle and put my other cutting mat on top. I'm going to run it through the Big Shot. And what happens is that the Big Shot has rollers and pushes against your cutting mats. But because there's a hole in there, there is no pressure and so that gives you that negative image. I hope that is showing well enough on the camera. Now I'm going to take my Easter Dove stamp. You will find that in the Occasion Mini. It's a single stamp and it says he is risen. I'm taking my stays on ink and I'm going to stamp that in the middle. Stays on ink is a permanent ink. It dries very quickly so when I go in and color the dove in with my white gel pen, if I touch the edge of the black it's not going to bleed. It's going to give me a solid finish. If you use the classic black ink pad and touch your gel pen to the lines, you're going to get a bleeding. So that's how I got that image. Now to show you how I did the dogwood. I am using the Blossom Petals Builders Punch Set. This matches one of the stamp sets, but all I'm going to do is use this leaf right here. I'm going to take a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to punch that out. One thing nice about Stampin' Up! Punches is it makes me use all those little pieces of cardstock. I'm then going to take my half inch circle punch and I'm going to nip the corner of that petal. I'm then going to take my bone folder and I'm going to curl that edge. I'm going to take my pink pirouette stamp pad and take my sponge. I have taken my sponges and used Stampin' Up's tab punch and punched out the same colored cardstock as the ink pad, stapled on the top of my sponge. That way when I look in my sponge drawer I know what each sponge ink color is on it. It was always a guessing game before but that way it makes it nice and easy. I'm then going to take a scrap piece of pink. I'm going to punch a circle and I'm going to punch a scalloped little circle. This is from the itty bitty punch pack and I'm going to use that piece for the center of my dogwood. I've already done th three other petals for the dogwood. I'm going to take my glue dots. 
I always like to take my glue dots and fold the extra paper back so I know exactly where the next glue dot is going to be. That way I don't waste my glue dots and it allows me to not get them stuck all over my fingers. So I am putting those on. I'm going to take the little itty bitty punch and put that there also. I'm going to build on my half inch circle punch. I find that when I've got different layers of flowers, it always helps to have a base to work from, kind of crossing them over like so to form my dogwood petals. Because of the center crossing each other, if I take my itty bitty scallop and go on top, I have my dogwood. Next, I'm just going to take my gel pen and add some dots, and my dogwood flower is done. So there you have a nice, quick, easy Easter card made with a negative image from your Big Shot and also the dogwood flowers. Hope you enjoyed the video, and you'll join Stamping with Linda, your cardiologist, again real soon. Have a great day. Bye.